The Israelites came to the edge of the Promised Land. They camped near the Jordan River in the plains of Moab. By now, all of the previous generation had died except for Moses, Joshua, and Caleb. Balak, the king of Moab, saw the Israelites and was afraid. If the Israelites moved into Moab, they could take over. King Balak sent his messengers to a man named Balaam. The king said, come and curse the Israelites so that I might be able to defeat them. The king believed that whomever Balaam cursed became cursed, and whomever he blessed became blessed. When Balaam went with the king's officials, God sent an angel to stop Balaam. Balaam could not see the angel, but his donkey could. Three times the angel stood in the way, and three times the donkey stopped. First, the donkey went off the road. Then she ran into a wall. Finally, she crouched down on the ground. Balaam didn't understand why the donkey was stopping. He hit the donkey with his stick, so God gave the donkey the ability to speak. What have I done to you that made you beat me three times, the donkey said. You made me look like a fool, Balaam said. God then allowed Balaam to see the angel, and Balaam said, I was wrong. I didn't know you were trying to stop me. If you don't think I should go, I'll return home right now. The angel said, it's all right for you to go, but you must only say what I tell you. When he arrived, Balaam told the king, I will only say what God tells me to say. Balaam told the king that God had blessed the Israelites. So Balaam blessed them too. In fact, he blessed them three times. The king was angry. I brought you here to curse the Israelites, but you have blessed them, he said. Go home. Before Balaam went home, he had a special message for the king. Balaam said that one day, the Lord would be born to the people of Israel. The message was a special promise. I see him, but not now. I perceive him, but not near. A star will come from Jacob, and a scepter will arise from Israel. After Balaam had said these things, he went home. Balaam could not curse God's people. God had blessed the Israelites, so Balaam blessed them too. 1400 years after Balaam announced God's promise, Jesus was born. God sent Jesus to bless the whole world by rescuing people from sin.